I believe that we're about that about to see that come to pass because we're in that season. We're in that season. This is our, this is the hour and the season that God is ordained. Because you see, God's looking for faithfulness right now. And he knows that even though it's, he's, we're celebrating his son's birthday, he still looks for faithfulness in the heart of his people. And he still looks for integrity in the heart of his people. And so we have a, an obligation to do the right thing, not because someone is watching us, but because it's right to do what's right. Uh, you, uh, my live me friends, all you on live me, uh, the other day, uh, which was uh, Tuesday night, we did a powerful service. But for some reason or not, live me would not uh, broadcast. And it wasn't because I didn't want to. I wanted you guys to get the message, but that program would not broadcast for me on last on the on on, uh, on last night. Okay, so, uh, but if you want to hear what what was said last night, you can always go to uh, my Facebook or either my YouTube channel, Larry Birkins on YouTube. You can always listen to it on YouTube or on Facebook. Amen. You can always get these messages that I'm preaching and teaching. Last night was powerful, powerful message. Amen. And I wish I wish you had a, you got what it could have been there for. For, the, for last night's service, but for some reason or another, it would not broadcast. So I'm sorry about that. And uh, now I'm going to, I'm just trying to give a few more seconds for people to come on. And then once I get a few more people on, we're going to pray. Okay. Right now, I just want, just want to let you know that Christmas time is upon us, Christmas season upon us. And I know that's because my wife and I, we're doing a, we out running around every evening when we get off work. Amen. We out running around. How you doing, Deanna? Good to see you. Amen. We out, uh, Danny. Good to see you also. Glory to God. Yeah, you guys are very faithful. That's why I want to make sure that you guys get the message because you all are so faithful. You're so faithful. Amen. And so uh, I wanted to just just share with you just a minute. Then we're gonna pray, and we're gonna gonna we're gonna pray right now. We're gonna go ahead and pray right now. Open up in prayer. Father, we thank you and we bless you and we glorify you, Father, for all that you've done. Father, we're so thankful that you allowed us to be here to witness another Christmas holiday where we celebrate the birth of our risen Savior, Jesus Christ. And Father, we thank you for allowing us this great opportunity because many that we even know of have gone on to the other side and they're not here to celebrate with us today. But God, you've allowed us this opportunity. So we want to come to you today with a heart of thanksgiving and with an attitude of worship. God, we thank you for this day, and we worship you. We give you glory. We give you praise, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Because we are still here to honor you and to worship you and to give you praise. And so, Father, I bless your people, and I bless all of them under the sound of my voice. And as we prepare today, Father, for this great new year that is coming, as we begin our preparation today for this great new year that is coming, Father, we believe, Father, that God is going to bring us to a place where we can experience His goodness and His mercies. Because His goodness and His mercies is renewed daily. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Now, I want y'all to remember now, because tomorrow is the what? The 21st? Tomorrow is the, is the 22nd. Not the 21st, but the 22nd. Amen. Tomorrow is the 22nd. And, and tomorrow is also Thursday. So don't forget now, we're going to be praying tomorrow morning. We're, gonna, we're still going to be interceding for those that will. And I know that's, uh, 
I know I know you have a busy schedule, but tomorrow is our regular intercession day. Tomorrow is our intercession day. So we're going to be interceding tomorrow. We're going to be interceding tomorrow at uh, 9 in the morning and 12 at noon and 3 in the evening. And now these are only 10 minutes at a time. I'm just reiterating it because, see, I don't want you I don't want you to think that this is uh, something that, that has to go day in and day out. You can if you want to. But God, when God gave me these, these assignments and only for 10 minutes, God made it plain and made it clear to my heart. He said, my people are not praying. And to get them to pray at least 10 minutes at a time will be a great breakthrough on their, on their behalf. Now see, this, this, is the, this, is what, this is what I'm hearing. This is what I'm hearing. So this is why we're doing only 10 minutes at a time. 10 minutes at 9 a.m., 10 minutes at 12 noon, and 10 minutes at 3 p.m. Amen. Because God said the people are so busy, they don't have time to pray. And God is looking for people that will sacrifice. He's looking for people that will sacrifice. Amen. He needs heroes. Glory to God. He needs people that are maximize the moment that they have to achieve the goal that they have set forth in their heart. And that is, my friend, is to honor our Lord and our Savior by praying and seeking His face. Amen. Now, this is something we all can do. This is not this is not something that, that we have to be uh, looking forward to doing later on. This is something we can do now, today. Amen, today. God is looking for a people that will make up the hedge and stand in the gap before Him for the land that He will not destroy. Amen. Isn't that what He said in the book of Ezekiel, chapter 22 and verse 30? The Lord said, And I sought for a man among them. Amen. I sought for a man among them that should make up the hedge and stand in the gap before me for the land that I should not destroy. He said, but I, but I found none. But I found none. Amen. God is looking for people right now that will pray. And I know you might say, well, Pastor, this is the holidays and we're so busy right now. We don't have time to pray. Folks, you need to make time to pray. You need to make time to pray. Don't let yourself become so busy so you forget about the real reason that we come to this season. Amen. It's not about us. And it's not how many gifts we got to buy for people. It's not how many gifts we're going to get from people. It's about the gift of life that was given us through Jesus Christ our Lord. Had not he came into this earth and laid down his life for your sins and for my sin. All oh, glory to God. I, we may not would be here today, but because he came and laid down his life, we have an opportunity today to say thank you, Lord, for thinking of me. Thank you for not being selfish. You could have went on to heaven and just enjoyed your, your eternity, but you made it possible that we can join you at that appointed day. Amen. So I'm thankful today. And I'm thankful that I'm still here to encourage others. I'm thankful for everything that God has done. And you know what? I want you to, I want y'all to do something right now. I want you to do something right now. And this, this is good. This is very powerful. What I'm going to ask you to do. And it's probably going to go against a lot of your hearts and a lot of you, a lot of you, your, 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 your thinking right now. But I know that there are a lot of people have been offended in some way or another because of some of us. And what best way that we can release them is to ask God to forgive us for allowing us to harbor uh, unconfessed sin in our heart like unforgiveness. You know what? The person that offended you is not even, maybe not even aware that they offended you. And yet still you allow unforgiveness to be harbored in your heart. And it causing you to miss out on the greatest blessing that God could ever give you. Amen. And what do you mean? What do you mean the greatest blessing? How much does peace of mind cost? It, could, it, it, it doesn't cost much. What it costs is for us to forgive one another. To forgive one another. See, when we 
walk in forgiveness, when we forgive one another, then we can come to the Father and we can say, Father, please for, forgive. I, I, I forgive this person. I forgive Joe Blow. I forgive uh, 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 Johnny Tushu over there for what they've done to me. They may not even understand that they, they, they offended me, that they hurt me. But God, I know that they did. And I forgive them. And I speak and I release blessing upon their lives. Amen. You know what? You're not just forgiving them for your for 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 your for their purpose, but you're forgiving them for your purpose also. Because you're the one been held in bondage because of the unforgiveness. So if there's any unforgiveness in your heart right now toward anyone, you and I know that a lot of us have uh, re, you know been in relationships, and you may be in a relationship right now that's abusive or what what have you. Amen. And it's hard for you to say, well, I love you, but I, and I forgive you. It may be hard for you to say that you forgive them. Amen. But you know you should. Because God said, when we forgive men their trespasses, our Heavenly Father will forgive us our trespasses. Amen. And so when we enter into this holiday season, when we enter into a Christmas season, let us go in with a, with a peaceful attitude, with a peaceful heart. Let us ask God to forgive us of our sin and forgive those who have trespassed against us. Amen. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us ask God to forgive us today. Let us walk into this new year, into this Christmas season, right into our new year, with a clean conscience and a, and a heart attentive toward the things of God. Oh, my friend, what could be the greatest Oh, I feel the presence of God all over me right now. What would be the greatest joy than to have peace of mind when you when you when you come to your your family on Christmas? It may be a family member that offended you. It may be a family member. <coughs> and you may not even want to be around that person. You may not even want to have anything to do with that person. Why not just go buy that person a, a simple gift, a token of love? And give that person that gift and say, look, I know we've been at odds with one another, but you know what? I forg I love you and I forgive you. Amen. And you know what? That's going to, that's going to, that's going to break a lot of, oh my God, uh, demonic strongholds that the devil has been trying to establish in your heart. Amen. And in your, and in your mind. Because this is how he keep people in bondage. Is to keep them in a spirit of unforgiveness. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. See, God didn't have to forgive us of our sin, but he did. He forgave us of our sins, folks. And he sent his son to pay the ultimate price for our sins. And that was the shedding of his blood. He didn't have to do that, but he did. Why did he do that? Because he loved us. Because he loved us. Amen. And so, let us love one another as God has also loved us. Now, tomorrow morning at 9 a.m., we're going to be praying for the peace of Jerusalem. We're going to be praying for the prime minister. We're going to be praying for uh, the children of Israel. Amen. We're going to be praying for all of them that are of God's chosen people, the Jewish people. Amen. We're going to be praying for them people. Amen. Not them that say that they are Jews and are not, but those that are actually are Jews. Amen. We're going to be praying for those people. And I want you to pray fervently. Amen. And then and then just, just ask God for the salvation of the Jews. Pray and ask God for the salvation of the Jews. Ask God for revival and for revival to sweep the, the Holy Land. Amen. Because they need revival just like we need revival. Amen. You think that everybody there is saved? They're not all saved. They're God's people, but they're not all saved. And we need to pray for them too for salvation. We need to pray for them for uh, 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 revival. Amen. Please, don't forget about, don't forget to pray for them tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Then at 12 noon, we're going to be praying for the fivefold ministry of ministry gifts the apostle prophet evangelist pastor and teacher god said that he's he, 
he, he bring, he, he, he's bringing the fivefold ministry gifts back into focus, back into the house, back into the house. Amen. So let's pray and ask God. Let's let's pray and ask God to deal with the fivefold ministry gifts, to deal with their hearts, that they will reunite together and stop looking at one another like I'm better than you, and you uh, you don't have what I got, so I don't you don't. You, I don't need you around me. You don't have. I don't need you in my fellowship because you don't have uh, what I have. Uh, you're not good as I am. Uh, your congregation is not big as my congregation. No, we shouldn't be looking at one another in this attitude. We shouldn't be talking about one another with this type of attitude. We are brothers and sisters in the in, in the body of Christ. Amen. And when we come together as brothers and sisters of the body, we should recognize each other. As God recognized each other. If God gave the gift. Then who are you to say. That your gift is not important. It's mine. God gave the gifts. Let us pray. And thank God. For reuniting the gifts. Back in the church. That the church can be edified. Exalted. Established. And build up. In, and establish in the faith. Amen. This is the purpose. That God brought the fivefold ministry gifts. To the church. To strengthen the body of Christ. To edify them, to exalt them, and to establish them in the faith. Amen? So, oh, glory to God. I feel the Holy Ghost all over this thing. So that's our that's our job tomorrow at 12 p.m. To pray for the fivefold ministry gifts. Pray for the body of Christ. Pray for your loved ones that are lost, those that are without Christ. Amen? Pray for them also. Amen? During that 12 o'clock time. That we're only praying for 10 minutes at a time. But now a lot of people are off for a holiday. You can pray a little longer if you want to. Amen. But I know you got all this shopping you want to do. And so you need, you know, still, we don't want to forget. We don't want to forget what God has asked of us to do. He's asked us to pray. And then at 3 p.m. Now this is another 10 minutes period of time. All of these for 10 minutes at a time. And at 3 p.m., we're going to be praying for the, the, the smooth transition for, for uh, 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 President Obama and his family to transition out of the White House into wherever God is uh, leading them. Amen. And then for a transition of, of Donald Trump to, to, to be established in the White House. Amen. And now we're going to be, we're going to, we, we need to be praying for this, folks. We need to be praying because we don't want, we don't want the devil to have a loophole and cause cause some 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 damage before all this take place. We need to keep praying. We need to keep asking God divine protection over the people that He has chosen. Amen. Now, notice I said the people that He has chosen, because you see, uh, m most of the world wanted somebody else, but God chose someone that He wanted. Now, I'm not offended at no one, no candidate. I love all because I'm a servant of God and I'm I don't have no alt against no man that God choose. My, my my job is to pray for them, not not to criticize them. My job is to pray for them. And so it is with you. Whoever God has chosen, you don't need to don't need to be putting don't put your mouth on them. Amen. Put if you do, let it be because you're praying for them. Let it be because you're praying for them. Amen. Because you wouldn't want nobody putting their mouth on you. Amen. You, the, the, these people are human beings just like you. It just so happened that they have prepared themselves to reach such a position in life. And you could probably prepare yourself for that same position. But it takes a lot of work and a lot of schooling. And in some cases, a lot of money. <laughs> Amen. But the thing about it is that when God set you there, it doesn't matter what you have. Because God and you make the majority. Makes the majority. Amen. So we're going to be praying for a smooth transition for President Barack Obama and, and for Donald Trump. Out of, uh, 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 Obama out of the White House and Trump in the White House. Amen. We're going to be praying for that. And then we're going to be praying for our military. We're going to be praying. We, and, and folks, don't forget. Don't forget, I believe, because it's been in my heart ever since we've been I've been doing this, I believe that God is going to uh, unite hand in hand 
strong relationship, stronger than ever before, with Jerusalem. I sense it so strong in my heart that America is going to be joined with Jerusalem in a very unique and a powerful alliance. They're going to form a powerful alliance. Amen. And once that takes place, the economy is going to take off. The economy is going to take off. Why? Because we have put ourselves back in position that God has ordained since America has been ordained. Amen. See, God, Christians, founded America. Christian people founded America. God founded the Jews. And when we come together, folks, we're going to be a powerful force that cannot be reckoned with. Amen. And it's going to be, it's going to cause Israel to become the nation that God created it to be. Because they will have the backing of this great nation, America, backing them. Amen. Now, we're going to be praying for that. Also at 3 p.m., we're going to be praying for the, 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 the exchange of office for the presidents. Amen. We're going to be praying for, uh, going to be praying for their families. We're going to be praying for, uh, we're going to be praying for the, the our military. We're going to be praying for the the, 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 the strong covenant with Israel. Amen. Jerusalem. Amen. And so this is something that I believe that God has placed on our hearts. So let us focus on these areas while we're praying okay and uh, we're going to pray for our military personnel and also we're praying for the military of Israel too at 9 in the morning I forgot to tell you about that at 9 in the morning you pray for their military personnel also and at 3 p.m. we pray for our military personnel amen that God will protect them and keep them strong keep them keep them alert at all times of what's going on around them so the enemy will not be able to come in and overtake them amen so we want to make sure that that's God's heart. We That's God's heart. And we want to make sure that that's be our heart also. Now, and then don't forget now, the last three days of this month, which is the, which is the uh, next week, is the 29th, 30th, and the 31st. We're going to be fasting and praying for three days. The last three days of this month. The 29th, 30th, and the 31st, we're going to be fasting and praying. Now that's now that's uh, that's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. No, that's uh, no, that's let me see. Glory to God. Yep, that's uh, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Amen of December the 29th, 30th, and the 31st, we're going to be fasting and praying. Now we're fasting, it's just like we're praying now, we're fasting water only. And I want you to start preparing yourself. And I know there's going to be a lot of eating going on through the rest of the holidays, but you need to start tapering off your eating so this fast will not be difficult for you to do. We're not fasting 24 hours a day. Thank you for the love. Uh, Periscope, thank you for the love. Amen. We're not fasting 24 hours a day. We're only fasting 12 hours a day. That's from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. The 29th, 30th, and the 31st. That Thursday, Friday, and Saturday of next week. Amen. We're going to be fasting and praying. Amen. <clears throat> now, we, 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 our intake is water only. Water only for those three days of prayer and fasting. And then... At the end of January, at the end of Jan January, the, the 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 last seven days of January, which will be the 25th through the 31st of January, we're going to be fasting. From the 25th of January to the 31st of January, we're going to be fasting. That's seven days. That's seven days of fasting. Now, this seven days of fasting 
it's a 24 hour fasting. This is not 12 hour fasting. This is 24 hour fasting on these seven days. That's not a lot because we usually go 20, we usually go 21 days. We usually go 21 days, but God gave us, God gave us seven days at the beginning of the year, the first month of the year. So I, so I chose the, the, the last seven days, the 25th through the 31st, the last seven days of the month for a complete fast, 24 hour day fast, water only for those that can and for those that will. And then from every month, from that point on, Every month is only three days of fasting. Only three days of fasting. Just like we're doing this month. The last three days of the month. From that point on, after January the 31st, uh, from that point on, every other month is three, day, three days, the last three days of the month of fasting. And at the end of the year, we would have accomplished 40 days of fasting. 40 days of fasting for the year of 2017. And that's just thankful. A lot of you have never fasted 10 days. A lot of you have never fasted 3 days. <clears throat> and so God is, he, He's breaking you in. He's breaking you in very, very slow so that you can, so that you can take this time and that you can uh, 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 fast and that you can pray properly. Amen. And because Jesus Christ, He is the reason that we're doing all this because it's in him that we live and move and have our being. To be a Christian means to be Christ-like. To be a Christian means to be Christ-like. Amen. How many of you know what I'm saying? God wants us, when we are fasting and praying, folks, this is one of the main ingredients to ushering in revival. This is one of the main ingredients for ushering in revival. So when you come together and fast with us and pray with us, then I believe that you will experience the peace of God that surpasses all understanding that will keep your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. And everything that the enemy has meant for evil, I'm telling you folks, I believe that God is going to turn it around for His glory. For His glory. 2007, it's going to be a year of new beginnings for many of us. A year of new beginnings. And for and I'm and I'm believing right now. <clears throat> I'm believing we'll enter into a new a new phase, a new stage in life, in, in history. For the next seven years, I believe that the blessings of God is going to be evident in the house of God. For the next seven years, the blessings of God is going to be evident in the house of God. And folks, this is something that I sense in my spirit. And I believe that when God began to put these impressions in my heart, and when I began to speak them out, I, be I believe that there's no question about it that they're going to come to pass. It's going to come to pass. Because when I declare what God says, I believe me, it comes to pass. Amen. I may not be one of those prophets that is uh, well known out there, but I am a man of God. I am a man of God. And, and, and I thank God that I'm a man of God. Amen. And so, folks, just, just prepare your hearts. Prepare your hearts. And just get ready. Because the best is yet to come. The best is yet to come. I'm so excited. I'm so excited about this upcoming year. I'm so excited about this holiday season that we're in right now. I have such a peace and the joy of God. The, the joy of the Lord is all over me. Amen. And, I, and, and my family, they all at peace. Yep. Yep. I decided, I decided to grow me a goat tooth here. It's kind of white, but it's, I like it. My wife told me to cut it off. She said it make me look kind of old. I said, honey, that's okay. I am old. <laughs> but I like it. And I'm gonna I'm gonna let it grow for I'm gonna let it grow for a little while, about a about a month. Then I'm I'm gonna see how it's gonna look in a month. Do I see do I wanna keep it? But nevertheless, it's all good. I want you all to know that I love y'all and I'm praying for y'all 
Amen. You are in my heart daily. I pray for you daily. Every one of you. I don't know you all, but but God knows you. And especially you prayer warriors. You are very important to the kingdom of God. Matter of fact, I'm going to pray for you now. All you prayer warriors and those that you want to be a prayer warrior, you can. You can be a prayer warrior. Amen. You know, I have a Facebook. I have a Facebook about the... Uh, uh, let me see. There we go. I have a, a Facebook called to the be called to end time intercessory prayer. Amen. Now, if you feel like you've been called to be an intercessory end time intercessory prayer warrior, you 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 go to go to my website, Larry Burke Ministries. Amen. Go to my website, Larry, uh, just put my name in, in, in Facebook, Larry Birkin, and go to that site right there, and, and, you, and you click on and say you want to join the Intercessory Prayer Warrior Group. Amen. If you, want to, if you feel that God is calling you to be a part of this prayer team, go to my, my Facebook. Just go to Larry Birkin, put Larry Birkin in your, in, your, in your Facebook browser, and when you find Larry Birkin, then you click on a call to end time prayer, end time, end time intercessory prayer warrior. Amen. Just click on that and and let me know that you want to be a part of that, and I will uh, uh, let you in. Amen. I will let you become. I will let you become a part of that group. We are a group of people that believe that this is a time of prayer. Amen. And we want we want many more people to join us as possible. It's, it's a public group. It's not a private group. If you want to be a part of this group, you can just join. Just just join. Amen. And we will be glad to accept you. Amen. To be a part of this prayer team. We there are people joining practically every day. I, matter of fact, I, I let someone in today. And so there are people actually still joining. So if you want to join, just come, just be my guest. Go ahead and and, and uh, go to my go to uh, my Facebook, Larry Birkins, and join us there on the a call to end time end time intercessory prayer warrior. Amen. So let's pray right now, Father. I thank you for all the prayer warriors and for all the people, Lord God, right now under the sound of my voice. And Father, I realize that. This is a busy time for a lot of us because we're making preparation with our families and to help them to uh, enjoy this holiday. Father, this is a holiday that people give to one another. We share with one another. We, we love on one another and we, and we respect one another. And above all, Father, we forgive one another. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for every man and woman under the sound of my voice right now. And I ask you, Father, that you would breathe upon them right now, a freshness of your presence. Holy Spirit, breathe upon them right now, I ask you, Father, in Jesus' name. May your kingdom come, Father, your will be done in their life, in heaven, so in earth. I bless them, Father. And Father, let the spirit of discerning rest upon them. That during this season, Father, that we will not grow weary in well doing. Because, Father, we are not seeking to do our own will, but we are seeking to do the will of Him who have sent us, or who have called us and separated us for this purpose and for this time. Lord, let your children experience your goodness this day, this hour. And Father, let them have confidence in you that you are who you say that you are. That there will be no doubt in their hearts concerning that issue. That they will have no problem to believe you, Father for safety and for health and for whatever they have need of, Father, 
to, to heal the relationships, to establish them in finances, to, to heal their, their, their bodies. God, let them have that assurance in their heart, God, that you are who you say that you are. God, except they can believe it, they will never experience the true peace that you offer. And so, Father, I release my faith for all of them that are undecisive right now. And I pray, Father, that you would touch, that you would minister to their hearts the peace of God that surpasses all understanding. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. How come your prayers don't what? Work? Your prayers do work. If you have alt in your heart, that you have unforgiveness in your heart, you need to forgive that person that you are angry with. Your prayers do work. God loves you as much as He loves everyone else. You was created the same way we all was created. Don't say that your prayers don't work. If your prayers don't work, that means you're probably not praying. And if you are praying, you need to learn to pray properly. Enter into His gates with thanksgiving. Don't go in putting a demand on God. Go in being thankful for what you do have. Amen. Just share the love. And God will do the rest. We love you guys. Until the next time. Don't forget. Tomorrow is prayer time. And, and, and the young person that, that said something about the prayer a while ago. You can. We're asking you to join us tomorrow in prayer also. And watch and see. What is your name? Can you put your name back up there so I can see who you are. So I can pray specially for you. The one that said, "How come your prayers don't? How come you don't? You you don't you don't get your prayers answered or something like that? Whatever the effect you said, put your name up there. I can't see it. Uh, I, I wish I could pull it up there and make it come on up, but it won't go. Amen. But it, either way, either way, I just pray for you that God will turn your heart around, so you would have faith to believe in Him." And not in the circumstances or situation. We love you guys. Until the next time, my name is Pastor Larry Bergen, New Life in Christ Jesus Church, Sacramento, California. If you have any questions, you you got you can you can you can talk to me through emails, LarryBergenMinistry.com. Amen. 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 Okay. Potter. Okay. Okay, Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for this this person, Lord God, and, and I ask you, Father, that you, Lord, should they have anything in their life, Father, that is blocking their prayers from being answered, God. I'm asking, Father, for a special blessing upon this child of God, that you forgive this person of his sins, and that you wash it clean, Father, wash him clean, Father, with the blood of the Lamb that was shed upon Mount Calvary. And Father, as you looked upon that person through the blood that was shed for the remission of his sins, and let them experience the peace of God that surpasses all understanding. I thank you for it right now, Father. Then, Father, as they begin to pray, show them how to pray. Teach that person how to pray so that person will know, Father, that you do answer prayer. I thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. You know what? God loves you all. And yes, I'm I'm praying for you guys. I'm praying for you guys. So don't think I'm not praying for you. I'm praying for you. I'm praying for you. And then on on a lot of occasions we have people coming to the house. We have an intercessory prayer here at the house with everyone joining us in prayer. Amen. God God is good. Amen. God bless you. I'll be praying for you. Bye-bye.
Amen. And so I just want to come on today and just share with you guys because you know tomorrow is Thursday and tomorrow is our prayer time. Tomorrow we 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 engage in intercessory prayer, and I know that it's close to Christmas and everything, and I know that we all have a, a busy schedule, but still. Remember, Jesus is the reason for the season. And so, if we could could remember to pray tomorrow, I'm telling you, it'll be it'll be a great, great blessing. Twenty six.